All right, Babalos Rex here, and I am doing Assault, The Warring Clans, and The Veil of Eternal Blossoms. And I'm going to be showing how to do this quickly. The roots I usually use to get this done quick. So this is the Mogul Assault, one of the ones that resets uh, halfway through the week. And I will say this, if you're still looking for mounts, right, I would honestly kill the mount rares before doing any event. So make your attempts for the amounts and then kill them. Uh, I usually don't kill rares. There's two events that pop up over here. One in the village, one right there, and another one right here. Uh, does that one, or is it just... Uh, I think it's just two, one, one at the village for Mogu, and then one at the top there. Uh, the Mantid have two different ones that spawn there. And, yeah, if, if you're still looking for loot from the rares, I would kill the, the rares. So this event right here is a pretty good one for, uh, this gives about 25, I think, for percentage. It doesn't usually take that long either. Uh, I'm geared though, so this could take longer if you're not, but you are getting percentage for killing these as well. And a lot of these have, as you can see, a chance to drop Sky Shards, as well as the Lasso. Any Xantian mob here can drop the Lasso if you do not have it. And then at the end of this event, it spawns a big boy. Usually there's people here, if, if you do struggle killing the rares and stuff, this one may be a little bit harder for you, so you may want to avoid it. There are a lot more events that you can do, usually. Uh, depending on the day, there's usually about six up. So if, if you're having trouble one day, come back another day. But uh, the, the events are what I have found to be the quickest for me. Not like camping mobs or anything like that. I just fly around. I know where most of them spawn. At this point, I think I know where every single one spawns at this point. Oh, he was... Oh, uh, yeah. The blood debuff hurts, as you can see. So, if you have a cleanse and interrupts, you want to be careful with that. But depending on... The, the mob that can spawn can be different, so it could be her, him, or that one. Uh, also, if you're having trouble killing mobs... You can get the buff by destroying these. The last for three minutes. So that's why I did that. Uh, there's no event in the spawns here. That's, uh, that's mantid. Um, there's a little turtle event that spawns over here. It's just not up. There's a bunch inside the city. There's an event up here, which is a good easy one. As you can see, uh, the mob down in there that drops the amount is up. So this one is usually a pretty easy one to do, especially if you're undergeared. And as you can see, I got a bunch of... Dang, I think that gave me 35, not 25. Yeah, the skull events usually give you a whole lot more than just the, the double swords event. I usually don't do the events inside because it takes a lot of work to get, like, to run around and get inside because you're moving slow. Because it, it slows you down a lot. So I definitely check all the events outside before I go down in there. Alright. You know what? I think there is. There's. There was. There was two down here, because there's one blood chest, and then another blood one that spawns there. So here is an obliterator. Uh, these ones are pretty easy to deal with. So you get the red torch. Right over here. Boom. You can even do it if you have mobs on you, as long as you can survive. Really interrupted me. Really do. 
Okay, it did work. Again, if you're still looking for mounts, I would just kill the rares to get your percentage. Oh, he did interrupt it. Alright, I'm just gonna kill this. And I am doing this on war mode, so there could be a lion's, like, trying to kill me, but usually I don't have that issue. I'm doing this a little slow because I keep looting and everything. I, I could have hit that for a couple percent too, but like I said, I just like to focus on events. Okay. So there's a couple that can spawn here. So there's that one that I just did. There's one of the ones where you break all the jars that spawns right over here. Uh, again, there's like, there's three that spawn in there in the cave down there. Uh, there's a, another stone jar one that spawns up here. Then we have a few over here. So at this point, I probably should have just went inside and did the weighted artifact one, because I can do that pretty quick as a demon hunter. But depending on what class you are, that could be a lot slower. Uh, there's another one of those little events with the different colored circles that spawns right here. It's not up, though. There's no event that spawns over here for Mogu. And then, as you can see, there's that rare over there. If you're looking for a rare, he's usually not killed. Uh, another rare over here. There's an event with the sarcophagus that spawns right here. It's not up. So, I just cost myself some time by trying to avoid that cave. But, ooh, Trillium Vein. I probably could have killed a couple of rares and got it done quicker too. But if you're under geared and you can't solo a rare, they can get a little tricky. Alright, so it looked like none of the easy ones out here were spawned. Uh, so into the cave you go. If you're gonna go into the cave, you can usually find about three or four in here that are up. So weighted mogu, construction, and jade, and then a rares over there. So this is one of the easier ones too. So you just come over here. Oh man, I should've came in here. I could've done these easy ones. If you're still short sky shards, I pulled everything because I know I'm geared enough to handle it. And that's again, another reason why I try to avoid the cave. Because if you're on your undergeared alts, uh, it could be a little tricky coming in here and clearing everything and staying alive. And it being quick. So I tend to focus on the ones above ground. Especially on my undergeared alts. But these are definitely one of the easier ones. The weighted artifact. Uh, I'm going to talk about that one real quick. Uh, so it is going to slow me down. Boom, and then, so the thing with the weighted artifact is, it looks like you can click this, that's not true. You have to go over there, touch that, and then bring that over here. Whatever thing is here is the safe route, and as you can see, it's always the same route where it goes like this, and then wraps around over there. And then if you get hit with those, it knocks you out of the artifact, or breaks the artifact. So that's why I tend to avoid that on sun. I'm on some classes, and then that's gonna give me my last percent, and I'm out of here. You can see these runes speed me up if you didn't know that. And then the final boss over here isn't that difficult, uh, but again, if you're under geared or unsure, you can always usually find a group in Group Finder to kill it. Come on, Let me get out of combat. This is why I avoid the cave. It really slows you down.
but if there's a bunch of events in there, then it's worth. All right. See, yeah, this one took me a little bit longer than ten minutes. That rare don't fuck around. Oh, but he got him. Maybe they nerfed him. I remember when I first tried to kill him. That rare it was insane. Uh, right. There's this guy. Yeah, choosing not to go into the cave slowed me down. You know, so... Retrospective. Go into the cave, especially if you see multiple events in there. But remember the golden main warrior something one is at the top and it's those sprites and that one's a pretty easy one though it did give me time to go over the other spawns over here that people don't usually get uh, which is the one right over here that I showed uh, and then the one that's the sarcophagus both of those events give about 15 to 25 I think So, they're still good. The main thing for him is avoiding that ground slam, and you're pretty good. He's, he's not, this one's not that hard compared to some other ones. And I roll back over, and turn it in. See, this one took me about 11 minutes, and that's because I chose to try to avoid the cave. And again, mo there's a lot of spawns over in this area, so if you just want to, like, if you want to go to the area where there could be the most possible events, just fly right over here. Because there's all sorts of events right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Three different ones spawn in there, along with rares. And if you're still looking for mounts, again, I would just get on, kill the rares for, for your chance at a mount, and then do whatever is left over, you know. And the rare mounts in, in the veil, I'll quickly just go over that as a little extra thing. But that was pretty much it, by the way. So if you're just looking a quick way to do it, I pretty much showed all the events that you could do. Uh, as far as the rares, though, real quick. So you got... What's his name? One spawns here. I can't even think of his name. It's like, hold on. Andy the Loyal. Oh, I forgot about this one. Oh, okay. There is uh, this event that spawns right here. This one's pretty easy. You kill three of those guys and then do this. I should have done this event. I can't believe I missed that. Uh, but that's a good event. That gives 35 a pop. Um... Another rare spawns right over here. Houndlord, Houndlord Ren. Uh, there's the one that spawns at the back of the cave. And then there's Holly that spawns. And Holly essentially circles this. That's what Holly does. And uh, that's been Assault the Warring Clans in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms. Thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.